it. So the uh, equipment I was using uh, at the time of refueling was uh, a high pressure hose, a straight through coupling. Because the machine I was, I was operating at the time didn't have uh, a fitting connected to it, I, I couldn't connect the hose to anything, so you'd just put it onto a straight through piece of pipe and that would allow you to put it in top of the fuel tank. The hose started to come out of the tank. There was diesel going all over me and all over the machine. Uh, like I caught fire. My arms were on fire. My head was on fire, my face was on fire. I couldn't see, I couldn't breathe. Um, and I knew there was a ditch about 20 metres away. I knew if that ditch was dry, that I probably wasn't gonna come out of there. And the most severely burnt parts of my body were my left arm, all the way up from my wrist or my hand to up above my elbow. They were, I guess, the degree burns, the, bur the worst burns you can get. My neck on my left side um, and my ear all the second degree burns that didn't need surgery but were still quite deep and needed time to heal were my right wrist and shoulder, um, the back of my neck and my head. It wasn't just me that went through went through the, the pain of it and, and the hurt. You know, obviously my family, my friends and, and my workmates too, they all, they all felt it and, and took a small piece of the, the hurt home with them I guess after it happened.